Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Dr. Anna Marie Frank. She is a doctor of traditional naturopathy with a PhD in holistic medicine. She's also an author, a speaker, and the owner of Happy Whole you in Bakersfield, California. Now, she and I have a fabulous conversation all about mood, anxiety, depression, and how these things don't necessarily need medication. But we may be missing out on the raw materials to make our neurochemicals. Now, what are those raw materials? Well, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, but also the other main ingredient, your thoughts. So let's introduce you to Dr. Anna Marie Frank. Hey, Health Junkies, welcome to another episode of the Health Fix Podcast. I have Dr. Anna Marie Frank on, and we are going to be talking about your thoughts and how those and what you say can really impact your health. So Dr. Anna Marie, welcome to the Health Fix Podcast. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Hey, you know, just even in our little conversation before we hit record, I know that without a doubt, we've got a good podcast for folks because we have a lot of things to talk about. But first and foremost, I'm always curious, what brought you to natural medicine? What brought you to wanting to be a traditional naturopath? What's, what's the scoop? Ooh, well, as you know, it's never just one thing. I mean, it's been a journey for me. So uh, growing up, I was an athlete. I got good grades. I had all the things, married parents, roof over my head, check the box, check the box. And in high school, I started to, what now I realized was getting, feeling, experiencing depression Mm -hmm. for no apparent reason. Nobody would know this about me. And Mm -hmm. then after graduating from college, I went on to university and did my undergrad. And through that time, I continuously went on a downward spiral, not feeling well, feeling depressed. But then guess what? I graduated and I got a real job. So I thought, okay, now I'm going to make money. Everything's going to be fine. My life's going to get better. And it didn't. And I ended up going to a psychiatrist and he gave me three mind altering medications with only spending like maybe 15 minutes with me or so. And as a good student that I was, I went and I started taking that medication because I was taught you don't feel good. You go to a doctor and they're going to tell you what you need and what to do. Mm -hmm. And I continued on a downward spiral. And thankfully I had this little light inside of me that was like, wake up. Like you are the only person that can make yourself happy and that can make yourself whole. And so then I started on a journey to really look at what was I putting in my body? How was I thinking? Um, And I started to change my relationship. So I started this holistic approach of shifting things in my life. And along that journey, I realized there's this thing called, you know, naturopathy. There's this thing called energy medicine. There's this thing called Chinese medicine, Native American practices, Northern European practices. I'm like, what is all of this? This is crazy. <laughs> crazy. All I was really taught was like anatomy, physiology, and, you know, go to the doctor. And um, so, so I started to dive and I started to really work on rewiring my brain and rewiring my mindset. And then um, went through my master's degree. Right after that, I ended up getting married, getting pregnant. Actually, I did it the other way. I got pregnant, then I got married. (laughs) And then (laughs) And then I, after having my son, I had postpartum really bad. I had a really traumatic birth experience. Um, And so just, I've had a lot of run-ins that didn't sit right with me. And I started to ask questions and I started to research and I started to study and I started to realize there's another way. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I started about 11 years ago, started studying all of these different ways I don't want to say alternative ways because these used to be yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And so, yeah. And so now that's, um, so then I wanted to start helping other people rewire their mindset, shift their biology by their thoughts and, you know, fill themselves up with good things that can help heal them and allow the body to do what it knows to do. And so that's kind of how I got mm-hmm. to where I'm at. <laughs> You know, it's, it's an, it's not an uncommon story, right? We have a lot of people out there who are 
taking meds and not like feeling any better or off the meds because they felt awful. And now they're in this like limbo of, you know, maybe trying multiple herbs, multiple supplements, trying to figure out, you know, why, why are these aren't working for me either? Mm -hmm. And as even as a naturopath, you know, I, I kind of went down the route of like, oh man, do, do our herbs not work? Does the medicine not work? Because even in school, I did not connect that I'm in control of what goes on. And in my, yeah. in my brain about my thoughts, isn't it crazy? You don't connect that. I don't yes. know yeah. Our brain is the strongest pharmacy on planet earth and you can shift the biochemical makeup of how you're feeling in 150 milliseconds by changing a thought alone. Every word that you speak, every thought that you have carries a vibrational frequency that influences biology. And so this is physics really. And if you like, for example, if you think of the word, love or if you say the word love like when you say that and you think the word love like you can check in with your body and it feels different mm -hmm. than if you were to say the word hate mm -hmm. it feels different it's like saying I choose to versus I have to mm -hmm. if you when we shift our vocabulary the way we think about our life the way we speak about our life you literally can start to help the body heal. And then yes, herbs, supplements, movement, sunshine, earthing, all of these things are added elements, but it first starts with your mindset because I did not start getting well until I started to shift the way I was thinking about my life mm -hmm. and everything started to change. Cause when we change what's going on within us, everything around us starts to change. That is incredible advice and and just like a statement in general um not even advice that you know when i think of it i'm going oh my gosh you know let's let's go back to the love example you gave like it changes just how we talk about love you talk about this you talk about someone you love you talk about your pet whatever it is something you love you are going to light up right yes you talk about haters like, oh, I really don't want to do x y or z today you're gonna like be like mm. mm -hmm. you feel heavy <laughs> And it's crazy because like throughout the course of the day, we really don't realize how many words we use that are not uplifting at all. Yes. Yes. A hundred, a hundred percent. Like we don't realize that. And we have about 70,000 thoughts in a day and 95% of them are the same. So we are so programmed. And when I learned this, this is when it was like, okay, if we can rewire a computer, we can rewire our minds mm -hmm. because we have this thing called neuroplasticity. So the, the thoughts that we have are firing and wiring neural pathways that will cement in. So if you're constantly, the glass is half empty, you are cementing in seeing life through the lens of negativity versus if you enough times start to look at what's available to you, what's possible. I always use the example of like, when you get a new car, like you get a new car and you're like, Oh, I got this new car. Like, this is such a great <laughs> car. And like, wait a minute. I see my car like everywhere. There's my car. There's my car. Everybody has a car <laughs> like mine. The thing is, is you were never looking for it before. So it didn't register. So it's the same with our thoughts. If you're registering and focusing on what's available today, what's positive today, what's going good today. You know, my body is healing. My body is getting better. My body is healed. If you focus in that arena in your mindset, you're going, your brain will naturally go to look for what can confirm what you're thinking. That is what our brain does. It'll go to confirm and give you affirmation for everything you're thinking. So you have to be mindful that it's going to do the same for the negatives and it's going to do the same for the positives. So we are naturally biologically wired to look for the negatives. And it's really not the negatives. It's to keep you alive. That is inherent in our biology. Run from a saber tooth tire. You need to survive all of that. But I got news for us. <laughs> we have this thing called houses. We have this thing called electricity. We have this thing called running water. We're very fortunate in America that we have all these things that we don't have to focus our energy on just staying alive we can focus on thriving. Mm -hmm. And that's where our mindset needs to be is what can I choose to do to thrive today? Not just survive. Cause we've, we've passed the survival. We're there. <laughs> Let's we're go. To thrive. 
we've mastered that. And then, you know, we, I mean, it's funny seeing patients and even in myself too, you like you, you, that whole phenomenon of looking for danger and like creating danger, even out of the way. what my thoughts, you know, as I get older too, I notice it more and maybe because it's also, I'm more aware now than I used to be. I'll, you know, I'll be driving down the street and all of a sudden I'll, I'll be thinking of like all the like crazy scenarios that could happen while driving down the road. And I'm like, why is my brain doing this? Have you found that to be true for you and for other folks too? Oh my gosh. Yes. And what I do is, so when we go to those thoughts, this is where I teach my clients that we giggle at ourselves. We laugh, we go, Oh, there's that mindset again. I don't do that anymore, but <laughs> hello. I, I witnessed you there. I mean, it's, it's, it does happen. And this, everything I'm saying, the way I was before I started to work on this, I was so negative. I would blame my boss. I would blame my parents. I would blame every other person. If I spilled coffee on myself in the morning, I was the person that would show to her, oh my gosh, I spilled coffee on myself and blah, blah, blah. Poor me, poor me. Like I literally showed up in my life as a victim blaming my circumstances, everything around me for why I wasn't happy. I never once like during that time took my finger and pointed at myself and said, guess what? You're choosing this because the truth of the matter is, our life is exactly how we have designed it. We have chosen every single choice we've made up to this very moment has allowed us to be the person that we are. And the beautiful thing about choice is we can choose differently. And that's what I eventually did is I started to choose differently. I hated feeling depressed. I hated not wanting to get out of bed. I hated looking in the mirror and feeling like I'm nobody and I'm nothing and I'm worthless. And those were my choices. And so once I started to rewrite that narrative, I mean, I'm on a podcast. I have my own <laughs> podcast. I have my own company. I mean, it's like if we can work on thriving in life, it allows us to all show up in a more true, authentic way to do what we were sent here to do. And that's what I think we're missing is when we focus on just surviving and not thriving, we're not tapping into the gifts that we were given you know, to show up in this world and do like, for example, when you're with your patients, I guarantee you one of the best things that they probably say is that you give them hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You give them hope because you help them see something and it shifted their brain and it shifted their perspective to what is possible mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. the mindset of I'm sick. Things aren't available to me. I'm not well. Mm -hmm. And that's what going to a holistic person, a natural path, somebody who's looking out for the entire you and looking out for your future, for you to get well and for you to heal and for you to thrive. And I think that, you know, people, people are not used to that. No, they're really not. No, no. I think a visit with a natural path is very eye opening for a lot of people. They're like, whoa, like you actually asked me about this or, you know, I've even had patients who've come back to me and said, no one has ever asked me yes. about yes. that. <laughs> they get so surprised. <laughs> like there's a laundry list of questions and there's a lot of listening that happens when you go to a naturopath and like, yeah, they're, they're in awe. They're like, my doctors never even asked me this. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, your traditional doctor is not trained to ask you this because they're not trained to support your entire being and to support your foundations of health. They're there to save your life and they're there to put band-aids over things that don't feel good. They're mm -hmm. just managing symptoms. And that's, that's the difference, you know? And so I think that people just aren't aware of that. And sometimes there is a time where you just need to manage some things so you can function in your life but that should be paired with restoring your foundations of health. I always say we have like these little potholes in our health and we're just there to help smooth them over. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't feel like such a bumpy ride when things get, you know, challenging. You're better able to deal with life. You're better able to deal with what is going on when you have a stronger foundation of health. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, one of the things that I like to explain to my, my patients and I'm guessing you're, you're doing as well is like, this isn't something that, that foundation in the brain doesn't develop like in one second, you know, it's something that we teach you over time while you work with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it, and it all comes back to education, right? Like you are educating your patients mm -hmm. on what is going on on how we're going to help you heal on how we're going to help fix this versus just saying, Oh, just take this, come back and see me in three weeks. Yeah. Like education is number one in our company. When people know better, they can do better. But a lot of people just, they, they just don't know. Like people think to get electrolytes, you have to go get Gatorade or Powerade because that is what advertising has told them. They don't realize that you can uh, have an apple, have some Celtic salt, have a little bit of watermelon. You know, there's all these different ways to get electrolytes. And yet we think it's just Gatorade and Powerade. It's very interesting. <laughs> it is. It is. And, and the same thing goes to with with the mental health space as well because a lot of times in my practice i'll have someone say doc i'm i'm just so depressed i'm not feeling good or the other side is i'm so anxious i need something to help all the time. yeah yeah and and probably your first thought is like okay let's let's work on the brain stuff let's let's get there and a lot of times the first look i get is deer in the headlights when i'm like so let's talk about your thoughts <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh yeah uh, oh like, no, I got to give me a pill. Okay. Like that's what you are. I just, I don't want to talk about my thoughts. I don't want to, I don't want to think about that. So how yeah. do you address that with folks in terms of moving into that space? Because I'm sure there's probably some folks listening to this podcast right now. That's like, yeah, Dr. Krause, I've heard your different, you know, podcasts on different folks talking about how this, this way we think and the words we say really do affect things, but really is that really mm -hmm. the case? Give us, <laughs> give us a scoop on how you work with folks, kind of turning turning them over to the bright side. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I give them a, a lot of different tools that they can tap into. Um, first, like, so when I do a session, I'll do some biofeedback with them. I'll look at their eyes. I'll look at their tongue. I'll look at their fingernails. I'll see what physical observations the body's given off. A lot of times, like, for example, somebody who is anxious a lot of time, I mean, this is coming from their nervous system, number one. Um, and then usually if we go to meridians, there's this thing called the triple warmer in the mm -hmm. body. And there's points on the body that you can actually hold and do some breathing exercises. Literally within one to two minutes, your anxiousness can go from like a 10 to a two. Um, by holding these points, by doing uh, this deep breathing exercise, uh, the other thing is too, is I look at, okay, is the person sleeping? Mm -hmm. Because if you know, it's a whole cascade effect. Um, and then, yeah, if we look at nutraceuticals, it's, you know, I formulated my own, my own line and the three flagship products I started with were all for brain health. One of them specifically for anxiousness is calm you. So it's, it's a blend of herbs and vitamins that are bioavailable to the body because as you know, there's about 40 to 44% of people that have a methylation issue. And a methylation mm -hmm. issue is when you can eat food, take vitamins, do all the things, but your body can't convert it to make it a raw material for you to utilize. And so when that's not happening in the body, I'm seeing a lot, a lot more people, and this is really subjective for me, but a lot of people that are struggling with depression or anxiety, a higher propensity of them are testing for the methylation issue. Mm -hmm. And so it comes back to the gut. It comes back to the liver and cleaning all that up. But at the end of the day, if you are feeling anxious, it is, there's deep breathing, there's holding different points on the body. There's putting your feet in the grass and getting sunlight and doing those four basic things every day are going to be really powerful. Now that's for, for them. And then when I work with people, we're working on how they're thinking about their life, how they're speaking about their life. And I'm asking them questions. I'm repeating things back to them that they've said to me, and it helps shift the perspective to help shift those neural pathways in how their brain is functioning and how they're, you know, looking for 
the anxious things. And that that does take time. The Calm You is great because it helps to kind of calm the nervous system and start to shift things over time. I call it like the brain retrainment, but mm -hmm. it's not something that they're going to be on always and forever. And that's the other thing with supplementations is, you know, I use them as tools to get back to the homeostasis, to the foundation. And it's not something we're on always and forever. And what a client needs in the first 30 days is may shift in the next 30 days and then in the next 30 days. So in traditional naturopathy, I always say we're going to give it 60 to 90 days, three full cycles of your, of your life or those months. And then from there, um, I, I've, I haven't had a single person that doesn't have improvement that I've seen in the last six years, not a wow. single person, which is insane. Like mm -hmm. it's insane to me every day. I like pinch myself. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I had a gal come in a month ago. She just came in for her follow-up and she didn't, she didn't do any of the services that we have here in terms of, we have red light, we have sauna therapy, biocharger, you know, there's, there's different things we have here. And all she did, she came in, she woke up with headaches every day. She'd been trying to get pregnant for a year and three months. Um, she had acid reflux. Uh, what else did she have? Oh, her joints ached a lot. She's in her early 20s, by the way. Wow. She's not overweight. This should not be happening. And so all we did, did some biofeedback showed her some different moves in energy medicine that she could do, like holding triple warmer point and some other things, put her on some plant stem cells, some phytoembryo therapies. These are literally just drops under your tongue. I think she was like twice a day for those. Um, put her on a food base multi, which was our whole you, um, and then put her on um, our calm you as well. And she came back. Oh, by the way, I recommended Celtic salt for her to start using that versus table salt. Her headaches are gone. Her joint pain is gone. She still just has a little bit of discomfort in her lower back, which she is on her feet all the day. And by the way, she is in the medical field. So her mind is mm -hmm. about very blown right now. Mm -hmm. um, and her acid reflux is completely gone, nice. you know? And so she's had in 30 days, 30 days and her hormone, her cycle, because she was having her period for 10 days. Oof. And in, and now she just started again. So her, we know her cycle has already shifted because of how her period came back. So we're going to give it 90 days, but it's like all of this with just shifting also some of her thoughts, the way she was thinking, giving her some supplementation, giving her things to do at home. I mean, incredible, mm -hmm. incredible. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's things like that, that it's just, it's, so important to go back to your foundations because then the being anxious is the body's way of telling you something's not right. Acid reflux is the way of the body saying something's not right. Not sleeping, not having a sex drive. All of these things is your body saying something's not right. And you have to get back to the foundation to figure out how do we help the body get back to a stable state? You know, not just, oh, my, my, libido's low. Oh, here's testosterone. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've skipped over kind of what, what contributes to libido, you know, what are all the other side factors? And, and yes, you know, that's kind of one of the things that I, I really want folks to hear today is, is that we have these symptoms for a reason. It's a sign, right? It's a sign that something's out of balance, not that it needs something else band-aid wise to go. Hey, health junkies. Jake and Steph from Troop Functional Mushrooms have given you a little gift for listening to this podcast. If you enter Health Fix 20, you can get 20% off your order of Troop Functional Mushrooms. All right, let's get back to the podcast. In that department, now a lot of folks are going to say, well, Dr. Krauss, Dr. Anna Marie, well, you use supplements. Isn't that kind of like a, a Band-Aid in this case? Give us, give us the background in terms of you had mentioned something else. I can't think of the name of it right now that I'm not familiar with. It was a drop. Oh, phytoembryo therapies. Yes. Tell us yeah, what that is. Tell us how, how just even down, I mean, people understand obviously the, the multivitamin, but, but yeah. help us understand the, oh the, the calm you and the phytoembryo therapies. Okay. Uh, when I did my master herbalist certification, it was a 10 month program I went through. I was learning about phytoembryo therapy and gemotherapies. 
And I'm like, I just showed up to like learn about Hawthorne and like herbs, ashwagandha, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? And I started to realize this is a special practice and where I get my, um, my phytoembryo therapies and gemmal therapies, it's actually a company in Belgium. And it's a very specific time when they extract the plant stem cell of young plants, of young shoots. Like, and so what you have is you have all the genetic makeup for this to go in the body and work in a more 360 fashion to help the body heal in different ways. I mean, you think about human stem cells. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. are plant stem cells. And we're not very different from plants. We all know this, right? Like, and so I'm like, okay, I like, this sounds interesting. I'm going to start using them. These are complete game changer, complete game changer. And how one, they're super easy to take. I have kids that use them as well. And I mean, honestly, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that they would get the results that they get. And I've been using them for over four years now. And so there's, there's different remedies for different ailments that are going on in the body. So you kind of have to understand how the plants work and what the plant can do and how the plant can support the body. And so through all these little remedies, um, I will pair those with a mature herb. Like there, for example, there's lemon balm in calm you. I mean, it's not the only ingredient, but there's lemon balm in calm you. So that's going to work in a more, I always say mature herbs and vitamins and minerals work in a more linear fashion. Think of those as like the raw materials right? Those are the raw materials to go in and the plant stem cells. These are the blueprints. This is like the blueprint of what we're about to build, what needs to happen. And then you go in and you say, well, I need all the raw materials. So when people say, oh, well, vitamins and our herbs aren't those band-aids. Absolutely not. Those are raw materials. Your body needs to have that. And, you know, these raw materials, these are stored in the liver. You know, think of your liver as not only your storage unit, but your distribution center. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have enough of our, you know, of our minerals and our macro micronutrients, our minerals, amino acids, our vitamins. And when we don't have enough of that, things go wrong. So supplements are not a band-aid. These are actually going in and healing the wound that has occurred. And once that's once that's healed, you don't need to be taking them all the time because that's the other thing is if you're working with a practitioner that knows how to test you for what you are needing. I mean, I have clients come in and they're like, Oh, I still have this much left. I'm like, you know what? Put that in the back of the cupboard. You don't, your body, you don't need that anymore. You're good. But there's maybe a time again that you need it. And people need to realize that when you're under a lot of stress, when you are aging, when you are more active, your body is going through those raw materials much, much quicker. And unfortunately, I live in Bakersfield, California. This is like, there is so much farming that goes on here. I think we supply like 90% of the world's carrots and <laughs> almonds and so much. So I work with a lot of farmers and they will tell you food is not what it used to be. Yeah. You know, I have a farmer, fourth generation farmer third generation farmer. And they're going to tell you that, yeah, it's a lot different than what my great grandpa did. The so and they're using the same soil, by the way. So, so there is, there is such a need for supplementation and, um, you know, I'm really grateful for, I forget the company, but is it nature's way or sunshine vitamins. I, there was there was somebody instrumental in the 70s to make it available so we could have uh, the vitamins um, and nutrients that are really readily available. And um, and I've been hearing things about you know what could be going on in Canada. It's harder for people to get supplementation and some of these supplements. And um, one of the scary things that I've realized is that you know companies like Nestle Science are coming in and buying up a lot of these companies that have these nutraceuticals. And so, um, you know, one of the reasons I created my own small line is because I can essentially control that. We can source the raw materials all over the world. We can bring it in, we test it, make sure it's authentic, encapsulate it, 
or we have a liquid line. And before that even goes out, before that is even sent out to be sold, we test it again to make sure what's in it is truly in it, um, which is really, really important. And um, I always say supplementation, it can be the wild, wild west out there um, because there are companies that will have you know, their stuff packaged in not in FDA approved facilities and packaged overseas. And, you know, so you, you really want to buy your product from your practitioner because you know that it's being stored properly. You know that it is what is the label says it is. Cause there's a lot of um, counterfeit things out there as well. So, um, and I didn't know all this. I did not know all this. When I first opened six years ago, I would write, I would write a list of what people should get and go to the health food store or just order it online. Like, and then once I started to realize I was sending people, for example, say they were feeling anxious and I wanted to help them supplement wise, I would send them to the store. Someone who is anxious, by the way, mm-hmm. to pick up like four or five ingredients that I wrote on their slip. Someone who is anxious does not want to do that. So I started to think, I'm like, why hasn't anyone like put all this together, like in one product? Mm -hmm. And then it was like, and then people that were struggling with low mood, with feeling depressed, you know, I, I, I didn't really quite understand that you need vitamin B6, you need tryptophan, you need all these raw materials to even begin to make serotonin in the gut. And if you don't have those raw materials, I got news for you, an SSRI isn't going to increase serotonin. It's going to ration the serotonin that you have. Mm. That's why women think, and I'm speaking from experience because when I had postpartum depression, my offer, the offer after I had just been pregnant for nine months, given birth, gone through a traumatic experience and my body is depleted. I was offered an antidepressant. (laughs) That was the solution. I mean, that's a whole nother podcast, but (laughs) I didn't realize at the time there was raw materials my body needed. And then I was going to go ahead and start breastfeeding. Like, hello, we're tapped out here. (laughs) Right. So, um, so getting these, these ingredients in one formula was important to me because it simplified the process. I know it gave people the foundational stuff that they needed and they didn't have to choose between, okay, I can afford three of these, not all four of them. And it just took the guesswork out of it. And so that's essentially how I started to formulate and do my own thing. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's great because it can be controlled. And I know I have a very high quality product for people to, to have. Absolutely important. As, as time goes on with all the supplements and, and definitely the pharmaceutical comp- pharmaceutical companies have caught on to the billion dollar industry of supplements. They know, they know it's up. So we do, oh, yeah. we do want to be careful of um what we're doing in that department. So yeah, making your own and uh, make your own, that sounds terrible. Formulating your own supplements for sure is a, a wise way to go. I've not done it myself um as of yet but i definitely like you think of it and you know what i was looking at a lot of your formulas and i was like that i would totally do that i would totally do that so now i'm kind of like i just have whoever's ones that i promote and we'll go with it yeah so so let's talk let's talk about your formulas a little bit more because you know let's face it as we've already mentioned to to folks like as we're moving through changing the mindset rewiring the brain working on our thoughts this stuff doesn't happen overnight we do need something to kind of help us to move through that so you've created, I, I saw online this PDF that had like, if this is your symptom, you know, go here, go here. And then yeah. you kind of went through the the diagram until you figured out what was best for you. Tell us about your support for the mind and how you're working in that department. And, and yeah, give us a scoop. Yeah. So the three flagship products I looked at, the first one I formulated is actually called Bright You. So mm-hmm. Bright You is neuroprotective. Um, it helps with focus and it's not very stimulating, but the reason I formulated bright you first is because honestly on my countertop, all the ingredients in the bright you, I was taking all of them and Mm. I was like, Oh my gosh. And actually I'm going to read you. Those of you out there could that actually look into this stuff. You'll appreciate this. So, um, so it has all my products have a little bit of different forms of magnesium um, in them. So magnesium, glyconate, malate, citrate, depending on the formula I'm working on. 
Um, but so this one has a little magnesium in it, but it also has 500 milligrams of curcumin, which is the extract of turmeric. If you go to the store, you're going to buy one bottle and usually 500 milligrams is a serving in that one capsule. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what people don't realize is one capsule, depending on the cap size, a lot of times they can hold 750 milligrams. So you're having 500 milligrams, but you have 250 milligrams of a bunch of filler in there as well. Mm. Yeah, we forget about these things or we don't even, I mean, this isn't, this wouldn't mm. even come across most people's mind. Didn't come across mine until I started formulating this. So I learned a lot through this process. Uh, second ingredient is green tea extract and it's 300 milligrams, which is a full serving. Uh, next ingredient is ashwagandha, which is 250 milligrams. Uh, next ingredient is red ginseng. And that is 100 milligrams. And then resveratrol, 100 milligrams. All of those are standalone ingredients that you would purchase in a bottle by yourself. And they're all in this one formula. And you get all that within three capsules. And then when you go to the other ingredients, we use L-leucine, which is an amino acid to help. Because you have to be able to like put all the raw materials together and mix it in a way that it will go into the capsule and not get clogged and not get all messed up. A lot of times products have magnesium stearate in them. Mm -hmm. And for some people that is disrupted to the gut. So if you have someone with gut issues, which is a lot of people <laughs> these days, yep. um, you want to shift from the trying not even to have that added in there. And so that's the thing is when we did the second round of formulation, the only thing I changed was that um, additive that you, you need to have to mix it to even encapsulate it. Um, so we switched over to L-leucine for all three of our products. So that's the bright you, uh, then we have happy you, which is, this is what I, this is my antidepressant is what I call, mm -hmm. but this has, um, by the way, the B vitamins that are in here are all methylated, meaning they're already bioavailable to the body. Um, so we have the B6, the B9, the B12 in here. We have magnesium L3 and 8, magnesium glyconate. We have 5-HTP, 100 milligrams, holy basil, 100 milligrams, and L-tryptophan, 100 milligrams. So this one is essentially giving you all the raw materials so you can help with mood stabilization. Uh, and then when we have mood stabilization, it helps with cravings. Um, you know, so that is also an added bonus with, with that one. And then we have the calm you. And by the way, these are all formulated that you can take one of them. You could take all three of them, or you could take two of them. So they're formulated where, but you follow the flow chart mm -hmm. to see which ones you need. Mm -hmm. And each bottle comes with a two month supply in it. So we can save on plastics and our footprint with shipping and all of that. Um, but again, and these aren't the only one I would say that you could be on always and forever, just because of what it does is the bright you because of the neural protection and, you know, none of us want inflammation around our brain. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And then the calm you has the B6 in it, magnesium malate, magnesium L3 and a GABA in it, 250 milligrams of GABA, by the way, holy basil, 105 milligrams, lemon balm extract, 50 grams. Uh, milligrams and then L-theanine 33 milligrams. So these work all synergistically for the brain to not calm you does not make you tired. Mm -hmm. It calms the nervous system. So you have better focus and you're better able to show up and deal with the things that you're dealing with in life. Um, because that's the other thing is some people are taking, you know, if they're taking lemon balm, they're taking so much that it's not going to out and they're taking it to sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is like micro dosing um, to remind the nervous system everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. <laughs> so those are my three flagship products um, that we formulated. And then we did come out with a liquid line, which mostly our whole you is food based, methylated added vitamins, if we put them in or when we put them in there, amino acids, um, fatty, a little bit of fatty acids in there as well, prebiotic. And so it's just a one shot, you know, it's, kind of like your blanket you're getting a little bit of everything every day it's bioavailable you're absorbing it um and it's better than taking like 25 pills <laughs> you just take a shot of it 
Hey, you know, this day and age, I do find that for a lot of people, liquids do tend to be somewhat easier um, Mm, yeah. than, than the capsules. And of course, a lot of people are going towards gummies because, well, we're all kids um, on the inside. But nevertheless, you know, it's, it's good to be able to have something that's non-toxic that can help you support the foundation while you're working on the mindset, things of that nature, which I love that you're doing that. I love that you're working on the brain side of things because I think it is somewhat still overlooked, even though more and more folks are talking about it. And I think as we get older, we're going to notice as the population ages that the brain is so much more important um, to focus on. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to share, like, I, there was a point where I was eating super healthy I was exercising all the time and I was still depressed. So it, you, you can't, that's why my company happy whole you, I know we all want to be happy, but in order to be happy, you must be whole. And that is completely up to you. And it's that whole approach, right? That, that not taking the reductionist approach, the reductionist approach is, Oh, we'll work on the one thing. My argument is that it is not one thing. Because if you isolate just exercise, if you isolate just nutrition, you're still going to feel the potholes. Mm -hmm. So you have to work on, yep, a little movement every day. Yep, I'm going to eat some fruits and vegetables today. Yes, I'm going to look for the positive work on my mindset. Yes, I'm going to have positive conversations and work on my relationships. Yes, I'm going to have good financial health and look at my finances. That's the other piece we look at is like, how are your finances? People don't want to talk about that. They don't, in, Mm -hmm. in holistic health, Like when has your doctor or someone talked to you about your relationship with money and your finances? Like that is a big stressor for people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just, we just try to work like seriously, we work with the whole you. (laughs) Every aspect. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I haven't dove into talking about finances with folks. That is, that is one frontier I haven't gone into, but, but it makes sense. But you know what you If you just tied, because you've already touched on finances with your clients, I guarantee you, because when they're going out to eat, when they're getting Starbucks, when they're getting McDonald's, when they're eating out all the time, we're, you're looking at from the health perspective, but then what's very interesting, if you go and look at, have them track how much money they're spending on that. Mm -hmm. If you have them track how many minutes, like I've done things with clients where they're like, I just can't, I just go through the drive through like three times a day. And I'm like, okay, you can do that. I'm not going to tell you you can't, but there's two things I want from you. The moment you are going to drive to where you're driving, you look at the time. The moment you pay, you write down how much you paid when you're in that drive through and you look at the time again and you tell me how much, how much time and how much money. So they start to shift. They're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was spending 45 minutes every week in a drive through or an hour every week in a drive through that's four hours a month sitting in a drive through not to mention I'm spending two and a half, three times the amount of money. If I were to just, you know, buy all the fun coffee stuff and make it at my house, <laughs> you save the time and you save the money. Right. So again, it's that education piece because it's like, well, we didn't think it was possible because well, we just never were presented with it in that way. Right. Like my, I'll give you an example of one of my friends. This is so funny. So we went out, we went on a trip together, a girl's trip and I got out my electric toothbrush and she's like, Oh, wow. And I, she's like, I have a story about electric toothbrush. I'm like, what? She goes, I went on a trip with one of my other friends and she had electric toothbrush. And I was like, Oh, I'm, I'm so jealous. And she's like, why? And she's like, well, you know, to bring your electric toothbrush, you just like, you have to pack it and like all that. She's like, Whoever said you can't bring an electric toothbrush on a trip, right? Like her, this is a very educated, smart woman. And it wasn't until her friend had said, and then she saw me with my electric toothbrush that she's like, of course I can bring an electric toothbrush on my trip, right? So it's like, of course you can make your coffee at home. Of course you can food prep and meal prep. Like, of course you can do it. It just takes you, like, it takes the doing it for like thinking about it first and then doing it. And once we do something once, we're better able to do it again. Mm-hmm. But it, it's very helpful when people are are looking out for you and helping you shift your perspective and pointing out the things, the things that we do every day, like they're unconscious, like we're just doing them. Like we're not even like, 
realizing that, oh yeah, I just, I get home, I sit down, I grab a bag of chips and I'm watching TV. And before I know it, I ate the whole chip bag. Mm -hmm. It's just an automatic thing. Right. So I know we're funny beans, but the brain, you got to go back to the brain. I swear every time go back to the brain and you're going to solve so many things <laughs> and find so many things. It's so true. It's so true. And just slowing down enough, slowing down enough to observe yourself and, and really seeing that. I'm sure you work with folks on that too. Just slow down, watch what you do, be very curious. <laughs> it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh man. Wow. We've talked about a ton of cool stuff today and I was really excited to get to talk to you today, Dr. Anna Marie, because there was so much that, you know, I find in common about our thought process with mindset and, and really looking at the whole person, which is so important. So give us a scoop on where folks can find you. Let's talk about your podcast, all the things so folks can get in touch with you as well. Yes. Well, if you feel like you want to connect, we are, my company is at happy whole you on Instagram. Or if you want to follow me at Dr. Dr. Anna Marie on Instagram, and then of course, happy whole you.com. And then obviously you listen to podcasts because you listen to this one <laughs> and um, it's the happy whole you podcast and you can follow, like, you know, comment, do all the things wherever you get your podcasts. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll make sure that we put all those details in the podcast notes at drjkrausnd.com. Dr. Anna Marie, thank you again so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And I can't wait to have you on the Happy Whole You podcast. It's going to be great. Coming soon. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.